Hello guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B. Today, today I'm sitting outside Costco. We're going to go into Costco and we're going to do a kind of shop with me type video. How's that sound open? Good. And don't forget we're going to show you the Halloween things. Are you going to show everybody the Halloween things? Are you going to be brave? Yeah, Oban's kind of scared of the Halloween stuff in Costco, guys. But he's going to be brave. He's going to show you guys the Halloween stuff. So, I'm going to take you around. I'm going to show you some things that are new. Some things I've never really taken you properly into Costco. But I'm going to show you, you things that are relatively new. That I think just look good. That are a good deal. Or on, on offer. How's that sound? Yeah, they've got a lot of Halloween stuff. Although they might not have a lot of Halloween stuff left, and they've already got. Do not stuff see in. the giant spider. I'm gonna cut down the spider web. You're gonna day. cut down the spider. Okay, so let's go. First thing right in the door. Look at this. It's thirty-six pounds. I think that's really good. Do you think it lights up? No. Oh, Gail, it's so pretty. Look at it. I would eat that. That looks like it would be tasty. What do you think? £36 guys, that's a really good price. It says accessories not included, do you mean that? I wonder if it lights up. Hmm. No, it doesn't light up. That's very glittery though. They've got the Vitamix on offer. It is £287 I think, which is a good price. I have this Vitamix and it is very, very good. That is a good price for it. This is a good price. Look at the size of these flasks. This is, that must be at least, yeah, four litres. That is a really big flask. These are £29, which is not, not bad really for that. It says it keeps it hot for 48 hours. If that's true, then that is really good. And they're starting to get Christmas toys in as well. This monster truck is £66. That's quite expensive, but I mean, it is pretty big. And it comes with, it's like remote control. Some more Christmas stuff. They have this really, really big snowman for 100 and 20 pounds which is a good price it looks like it's indoor only the picture of it shows it outside but when you feel the fabric like this would get ruined and they also have this rocking horse it's kind of cool but my kids would think it was a toy and they would break it and it's like wicker almost it almost looks like string yeah my kids would think that was something to break and then we've got apparently a pac-man whole thing Should we buy this for our house? Yeah, definitely. What do you think, our girl? Yeah. Should we buy this? If you were wondering, it is £324. It's a lot of money. <laughs> this is like the little cordless shark thing. I think Mrs. Hinch has one. I don't know if it's this exact one. This one's 114 It's not a bad price. And look at that nutcracker. They have them out on display at the front when you come in, but it's too busy to vlog because everybody's coming in. I've always really liked these big whiteboards and this is like a, a fabric, like notice board. I was going to say cork board, but it's fabric. I've got nowhere to put it. So whilst they're a good deal, I think they're a good deal. I don't have anywhere to put them. These are a good deal if you have kids that like this kind of thing, that are like into arty stuff coming up for the month of December. These ones are £12. That's really good for 60 gel pens. I think that's good and it comes in this cool little case. I think that's good. Oh, he's found a safe. In case you need a safe, guys, you can get a safe at Costco. Oh, different varieties of safes in case you really need a safe. Thomas has found a globe. These look like a good deal. Two pack of children's water bottles for 836, including that. These look good. I would buy these for my kids, but my kids prefer, you know, kind of like the sporty top instead of this, because they lose the lid. <laughs> like literally, they'll be sitting in the car and they open it and then they've lost the lid so <laughs> not that good for my kids and they also spill it I don't know what it is they do what's Thomas found I think people think I'm like a weirdo oh this is new waist bleed great earth set a three piece that looks very cool that looks very cool you're bored how about we go to the muffin section and see what muffins they've got again that sounds good to me oh that's kind of cool but there's nothing in it. Wow. And then you look through it and it looks like all the seeds in it. Wow, that's amazing, Thomas. <laughs> this is actually quite nice. This is 1438. And you get like nothing the big one and then four bowls. You can see the seeds. It's easily amused. The seeds of the fruit, look. You know it's not the seeds of the fruit, it's just the holes on the other oh, side that you see. No, nope, I don't think you. I don't think he cares. They got even more Christmas stuff than last time. This is £84. Is that worth it? 
I'm not sure. It's very pretty though. And then look at these little gnomes. These are kind of cute, but weird. They have this really, really pretty wreath. I don't think for 32 pounds that's too bad because it is, it's really big. It's kind of hard to see for scale, but it's really nice. It's 76 centimeters across. That's pretty big for 32 pounds. And then this one, look at these cute, cute, cute things. These would look nice on a window ledge or on a fireplace, I think. Thomas has found a, oh, he's gone. He had found a toy, but he's gone now. Come on, mummy, take you down here. We'll see the Christmas stuff. I've also got some really big light up wreaths. And they have these cute boots filled with like holiday Christmas foliage. I'm not sure what you would call it there. 72 pound, I don't know. Is that a good price? We feel quite solid. Then they have this cute snowman. See, this is something I would buy, like whimsical and cute like i like that i also like kind of like a country like rustic chic kind of christmas style i bought these last year these are 12 pounds these are so cute minx has actually burst i opened it up and it was burst i should bring it back but they're very good 12 pound for two i think that's a good price and they've got all their kind of like here we go a go-kart hot wheel go-kart this kind of little trikey thing they've had this for years this is 77 pounds an electric scooter for 180. It's almost pretending he's like the coolest kid in town. <laughs> oh look, ski goggles, just just what I need. They do this wrapping paper every year. Here are your options. It is double sided and it comes in this big huge huge roll. Like it's so heavy and it is 10 pounds and it's very good but it's very hard to open because it's like metallic -y. it's like foil it's very hard to open and we've got lots and lots of toys they always have these i never put gift tags on presents should i like presents for my children um but these are 838 for 84 and they're all really really nice ones they are nice to be fair like that's a dinosaur <laughs> snippy and then they have this gift bag set for £12. I don't think that's bad for 16 nice gift bags because they're nice. Like they're not super plain. More toy ideas for Christmas. This is £24. It's a first robot. We've got this Playmobil set for £42. Sylvanian families. Thomas hates them. Absolutely hates them. Oh, look at these cute Disney princess toys. Oh, Sky, that's my eldest. She's 11, so she's too old for this kind of thing. But they are cute. I can't see the price up there because I'm too small. <laughs> and these, these are also cute. These ones are 1678. Lego advent calendars for 18 pounds. Big box of Lego for 30 pounds. I know some people give these away at Halloween. If you celebrate Halloween, we don't really do Halloween. Instead of treats for some kids, this is 10 pounds. And a school Play-Doh set. That looks fun. For the common household materials, yeah, so like water and oil and that kind of thing won't be included. That's a chemistry lab set for £20 and 38 pence. Oh, these are cool magnaformers, but they're always pretty expensive. You get 43 pieces in this for £29. They have these books, which are good if you're looking to just buy like a little something for someone. Yes. Five seventy nine. Yes. We've got Lion King. This is a mixture of Disney. I was looking at that there and I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Aladdin. I don't they see a Toy Story 4, but I don't see a Toy Story 4 one. So you can like read the book and then you can draw pictures and stuff, which is kind of cool. Build a T-Rex. These, these are cool. We've never bought these before, but they do look good fun. Comes with like a little book and then it's like wooden and you get to build whatever one you buy. These are 7 49 That's not a bad price. More kids books. These look good. These look like nice sets. Like to give someone as a gift, that would be quite nice. We've got Peter Pan, Wind in the Willows, and The Secret Garden. They all look pretty nice for $6.99. Loads of stuff in for Christmas, guys. Loads of stuff. They really have quite good prices on a lot of stuff like this. Oh, Biff and Chip. <laughs> that makes me feel sick. I hate Biff and Chip. Sorry, Biff and Chip. Halloween wise, they don't have a lot of Halloween stuff left because it is nearly Christmas. Well, 
Christmas in Costco land. They've got this set from Melissa and Doug. Melissa and Doug stuff is really, really good. This is 40 pieces and it is 15.99 excluding that. I can't see the including that price because I'm like so tiny. But they don't have a lot of Halloween stuff. They literally have one gargoyle and that's all that's left in Halloween world. They have these bow and arrow sets. Not something I would buy for my kids. These are, it's a good price, 16 78 If maybe you've got someone in your family and you don't really like them that much, or like, like the parent, you could buy one of these for the kid. They do stay age 14 and up, but my kids would just like beat each other with them. I'm gonna get some chocolate muffins. They're not good for you. Don't buy them. And you get two packs of these for 5 79 and you don't pay that, and you can mix and match. So these are the double chocolate and there's blueberry muffin. Sometimes they have a white chocolate and raspberry as well. And the toilet roll offer just now is five nine packs of this Velvet Comfort. They always have toilet roll on offer because you're like, what? For £11.30, that's not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. Sometimes it's this one on offer, the Cushel. Sometimes it's the Kirkland own brand, which is like Costco own brand. And they also have all of their Pampers nappies on offer just now, which are good if you're baby wears nappies if you don't if you're like me and your kids are too old then it's not that good but for instance this size three you get 130 30 136 for 10 pounds 69 i don't know if that's a good price because my kids didn't really wear nappies oh kitchen roll do you need kitchen roll no, it's on offer. oh it's on offer you just want me to show people okay <laughs> kitchen roll is on offer guys if you are trying to kill the environment it's 11 something for 20 rolls of that but yeah my kids don't wear that much nappies because we used reusable ones which are better for the environment so i would recommend looking into that but if you need to use them hey hope not judging look at this really good plastic well it's not plastic uh <laughs> reduce your plastic waste straw set thomas just found this is only seven pound 18. i think that's a really good price you get two four six eight ten different straws and they all come with like the rubbery silicone bits so you don't chip your tooth two brushes and a pouch to keep them in that's a really good price in my opinion they have some really skinny ones and then they have some really thick ones that would be good for like smoothies and stuff i think that's a good price and like help save the turtles if you're not seeing the turtle straw video what are you doing with your life thomas is debating whether to buy a pair of slippers or not i'm really tired now so a lot of stuff we haven't shown you because obviously the shop is ginormous <laughs> He's trying to get this slipper, the shoe, I'm so tired, out of the box so we can try it on to see if it fits. Because they're a 10 to 11, or well, the other size is an 8 to 9, and Thomas is more like a 9 to 10. Oh, here we go. He's got this puppy out, they're on offer. And they're only 7 7 8 for these memory foam slippers, so we'll see if they fit. We've got these boots. That's it, put your stinky shoe in there, your stinky foot in the shoe. <laughs> Oh, I need to go to sleep. I'm starting to feel delirious now. Too big, too small? No much comfy in it. No much comfy in it? That sounds like a coherent sentence. No much comfy in it. I think Thomas is as tired as me. If they don't feel comfortable, don't get them. Do they feel comfortable? Not really. I wouldn't get them then. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Put your work shoe back on you. Beast of a man. <laughs> and of course, they've got all their um, advent calendars in now. It's a Kinder one, Kinder Surprise, and Friends. How much is that one? Seventeen pound. Se Seventeen pound? Oh my! 16 oh, I wouldn't buy that. I'll buy this one. Look, this one from Heroes. There we go. Three pound. Sorted. <laughs> 17 pound on an advent calendar made of chocolate. It's not even toys inside it. The snack section. I used to buy these for the kids sometimes. These are organic fruit jellies or gummies. The Costco brand are 15.46. And then we have the Welch's, which are like the brand named one. And these are 14.26. These are not organic. They work out at 100, for 100 grams, 71 pence. These ones are 100 grams, 98, 94 pence. So these ones are cheaper for 100 grams, but these ones are organic. So I guess it depends on what is important to you. And someone's hungry. hungry. You're hungry. Shall we buy a bag of these big mm -hmm. giant pretzels? Who likes a big bag of giant pretzels? I don't like You don't like what? The cake ones. The cake ones? When did we eat cake pretzels? 
I would like to know. Out my handbag, you I don't have any more food in there. <laughs> We're finished up now in Costco. Costco's over there. <laughs> we have come now to home bargains. Thomas is waiting at home bargains because the girl's gonna buy a pair of handcuffs and Thomas is driving because I'm tired and I'm probably gonna have a nap on the way home. <laughs> but thanks for joining me guys on this Costco shop with me, see what's in the shop kind of video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. If comments are on, YouTube is so fickle. Sometimes comments are on, sometimes they're off. If they're on, leave a comment. If they're off, you can go over to Instagram and leave a picture or you can go over to my community tab here on YouTube. Uh, did I just say go over to Instagram and leave a picture? Honestly, my brain. Go over to Instagram and leave a comment. My head is pickled. Absolutely pickled. <laughs> go to Instagram, leave a comment on a picture or go to my community tab here on YouTube and leave a comment if you would like, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on Friday for Foodie Friday. Bye.